continuing on with our bedtime stories. Um, picking up where we left off with Diane Raw Girl, 50, from Gig Harbor, Washington. Diane was already rocking the high raw food diet before she started the raw food cleanse. But during the 11 weeks of the experiment, she noticed her skin began to clear, and people even started noticing the weight loss in her face and that her wrinkles were disappearing. Besides the additional weight loss, she shared that her sleep patterns were improved, requiring fewer hours per night of sleep to feel rested. Diane is totally on board with this lifestyle, and she plans to continue to eat a high raw diet as possible moving forward. Marcy Lisboa, um, not sure I pronounced that right, 39, Brooklyn, New York. You all know her as Kirby Cuke. Um, starting this experiment really made me look at myself more than food. The detox we worked on hit home, literally, in more ways than one. It made me realize that my weight issues are so much more than just what I was putting into my mouth. I've been controlling my feelings by stuffing them down to numb myself. That was the biggest reward of this experiment, and I am so grateful for it. I learned that the past is in the past and that I am more than just a number on a scale. The scale will no longer be the measure of who I am as a persona anymore. I now have a more positive self-image, and I view this as just the beginning for me. Weight management is just a small part of what I received from this experiment. I now have a sense that I can be successful in anything I seek out to do. Look for my full story in Penny's sequel to this book. I'm just starting to emerge from my cocoon. Love that. Robin Abbott, 47, Little Rock, Arkansas. I first read about raw foods, juicing, and smoothies last year when I read Health Bliss by Susan Smith-Jones, which introduced the concept of, raw food, of the raw food lifestyle. It piqued my interest, and I kept thinking and thinking about it and did more research on the Internet as well as going to the library and checking out Har Harvey Diamond's most recent book, um, some of you might remember that Harvey Diamond wrote Fit for Life, which was a huge book back in the 80s. Um, I discovered Angela Stokes on the Internet, and I downloaded her book, Raw Emotions. I began watching She and Matt Monarch on YouTube, which is where I ran across their interview with Penny the last weekend in May. When I linked to Penny's site, she was giving the invitation to join the Raw Food Cleanse experiment. The timing was spot on, as the program would be starting the next day or so. I thought about it for a short time and told my husband that I really wanted to do it. I told him it would take a lot of my time and energy, but I really needed to do it. He was supportive, so I signed up. I had gotten up to 180 pounds last year, and I'd been able to lose 14 pounds January through March of this year through eating a whole foods, cooked food diet and exercise, but my weight loss had stalled. I actually went back to my sad diet again in March and quit working out, and my energy went down. The vicious cycle had begun again. On June the 1st, when this experiment began, I weighed in at 167, so I was really ready for a change. Even though the changes were difficult at first, it took only a week for positive transformations to start occurring. I began feeling better and not minding the body movement or missing the cooked food. After about a week, the physical food cravings subsided. I began saying positive affirmations when I was walking outside, on the treadmill, or while driving. My favorite affirmation is, I maintain optimum health and a slim, sexy body through a diet of living and raw foods, sunshine, and exercise. I believe that that change in mindset has had just as much to do with my transformation as the raw foods and the exercise. Everything seems to be completely intertwined. Throughout this experiment, my diet mainly consisted of fresh fruit in the mornings, a green smoothie in the late mornings or at lunch, uh, also sometimes leftovers from the raw food dinner for lunch. I would also enjoy a green smoothie mid-afternoon and then have a raw food dinner an hour or so later. I enjoyed trying several of the life, life cleanse recipes, along with others that I found on the Internet or in raw food books. Without a dehydrator or a high-speed blender, I had to keep things as simple as possible. I read in Tanya Zavasta's book, Zavasta's book, Beautiful on Raw, that transitioning to a raw food diet or lifestyle is similar to immigrating to a foreign country. There are many cultural activities that must be left behind. 
There are new friends to be made, new tastes to acquire, and other situations that we simply have to leave behind. I still miss the ease of grabbing a quick processed meal or going out to dinner and being waited on after a long, hard day, but nothing compares to the improvement in health, physically, mentally, and spiritually that I have gained. I've gone from being an overweight, sluggish, emotionally perimenopausal ping pong ball with bad skin and high cholesterol to a healthy, fit, happy, and vibrant woman. Within 11 weeks, I lost 23 pounds and I feel like I have my life back. I plan to maintain a high raw lifestyle for the rest of my life. I don't see any way around maintaining optimum health without eating a very high percentage of living foods. So I do plan to continue learning to prepare more raw recipes and to get more involved in the raw food lifestyle. Very well said. Janine Gibbons, 49, Evergreen, Colorado. Janine went from 20 to 80% raw, and she lost almost 8 pounds during the raw food cleanse. Her boyfriend noticed that she was looking slimmer, which was really encouraging, and her energy level was much improved. Eating a high raw food diet is now a lifelong choice as she continues to approach her weight loss goal and to impact her long-term health. Okay, um, this name was withheld by request, and as I read it, you'll understand why. Um, not that she would mind you knowing about it here in the Raw Food Rehab Unit, but for the sake of the Internet and a book that has global impact, um, we've decided to withhold the name by request. I began drinking alcohol on a somewhat regular basis about 10 years ago. Although I gave up alcohol for Lent one year prior to doing the Raw Food Cleanse, I was drinking nearly every evening. Usually it was two or three glasses of wine, and then other times it was the whole bottle. I would go out, I'd indulge in two or three margaritas or Long Island teas. I didn't give my habit too much concern since drinking really hadn't interfered with my life to the point where I wasn't meeting responsibilities and no one had actually ever confronted me about it. But down deep inside, it weighed on my mind. My brother had passed away due in part to alcoholism and both of my mother's grandfathers were alcoholics, which had brought much shame to our family. When I made the decision to join the Raw Food Cleanse Research Group, I knew alcohol would interfere with my ultimate results, but I was concerned that I couldn't give up my evening wine. A part of me wondered if I'd become an alcoholic. I decided not to make a big deal out of it, and I made the decision to just go ahead and try. There was something unique about this situation that allowed me to approach things in a relaxed way, although I did feel accountable to the program and to the rest of the group. It was really the perfect situation because, after all, it was just an experiment. Once on a high raw foods diet, I never had physical cravings for alcohol. Giving it up was no more difficult than giving up the unhealthy diet that I'd been eating. I just toughed it out that first week, and then I was completely fine. Although I never considered myself an alcoholic, I was a regular drinker. Eating a raw foods diet cured my craving for sweets, alcohol, bread, and other sad foods. Oh, and coffee, too. I didn't think this was possible. One simple thing I've done to help with cravings is to drink mineral water or even plain water with lemon or lime in a pretty wine glass. I think part of why I enjoy drinking sometimes is just holding the pretty glass. Silly, I know, but this has worked for me. No doubt the change in diet and the elimination of my daily alcohol is the reason that I lost so much weight in 11 weeks, and it explains the six and a half inch loss around my belly. So awesome. Love that. We'll do some more in a little bit. 